Those were excused. By me. We should have confiscated this equipment long ago. But... but I've had a breakthrough. <laughs> Thank you for your great service to our country. These folks will escort you to Oscorp Robotics, where you'll receive the latest in prosthetics. No charge. This isn't about safety infractions, is it? I'm trying to help you, Otto. You're free to continue your work. In a secure environment. At Oscorp. You always were the smartest guy in the room. You haven't changed a bit. Neither of you. Hey, Peter. Harry will be coming back from Europe early next year. Maybe the two of you can start that business you always talked about. This is opportunity knocking. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. They, they didn't take everything. Maybe we could start over. Peter, there's no we. Without the grant from the city, I can no longer pay you. I need some time to think. If I were you, I'd look for a new job. I could do something to help Doc. Maybe call Harry. Ask him to talk to his dad. No. Norman never listens to Harry. He even tried to kill funding for his research stations. Hey, one of those stations is nearby. You should see how they're doing while Harry's in Europe. There must be some way to help Doc. I'll think of something. Harry left me a message about these before he left for you. Pete, hey, I need a favor. My mom's pet project was research stations that could benefit the public. Now, I launched them, but now that I'm away, Oscorp's gonna shut them down unless they prove their value. I was hoping you could watch them. I left details in each one. Thanks, man. As long as they're here, it's like a part of my mom is, too. Well, it's not gonna pay the bills, but... It sounds like it means a lot to him. I'll do what I can to help.
Spider-Man. Shocker has escaped, hey, and now he's robbing a bank on East 30th. First. What happened? I thought he was behind bars. He was. But one of the guards just walked up to his cell and released him, then gave him his suit back. I knew Shocker was working for someone. What did you get out of the guard? Wish I could ask him, but he's dead. Whoever made him release Shocker didn't want any loose ends. Damn! Looking at the security footage, the guard was in some kind of trance. And it might have been the lighting, but it looked like his eyes were glowing. Well, that's creepy. Okay, I'll see what I can get out of Shocker when I get to the bank. into the demons. Sounds like they've quietly established a power base in the vacuum left by Fisk. A vacuum I created by putting Fisk away? Jameson was right. The demons are my fault. But what were you supposed to do? Let Fisk keep godfathering? Are you okay? You sound even mopier than usual. I think I might have just lost my job. The city, Norman actually, pulled our funding. Oh, Pete. I'm sorry. If Harry were here, he could talk some sense into his dad. You'll find another source. Your work's too important. Thanks, MJ. Talk to you soon. I've got a couple stations measuring air pollution. The idea is to catch the, um, what's the word, contaminants before they reach toxic levels. Between you and me, I think Oscorp wants this to fail because it might show they're polluting. The amount of polycyclic hydrocarbons in the air is way too high. And rising. If it keeps getting worse, people could die. Particles are concentrating in trouble spots. Like mini clouds of smog. I'll swing through them and get samples, then trace them to the source.
Flatbush Avenue exit. Sea services is en route. 10 forward. Nasty as they are, I gotta swing right through those clouds. Got Spider-Man in my sight! Captain, I've got eyes on a Fisk construction site and their equipment's covered in dust. Just there for show? That's my bet. I'm gonna take a closer look. They think the boss can't run things They're from inside? They don't know the boss. 
A lot of people owe him a lot of favors, that's for sure. I thought he was buddies with the man. Guess he was right not to. Tell me, they're hiding drugs in the concrete mix. That's my theory. We'll need probable cause to get on site to confirm it. You'll have it.
they think the boss can't run things from inside, they don't like the boss. A lot of people owe a lot of favors, that's for sure. I thought he was buddies with the There, nap time. <laughs> boss, what you Funny feeling. Get the It's Spider-Man! You know what you do. I'll teach you some respect! Got something for ya! in the concrete mix. That's my theory. We'll need probable cause to get on site to confirm it. You'll have it. Kick his ass! Don't even think about doing that to me!
Captain, I've got Fisk's guys and all the probable cause you need, webbed up and waiting. Good job. Fisk thinks he can run things from inside, but he's gonna find out why long-distance relationships don't work out. robbery at Roseman's auction house. What you probably didn't hear, but my sources confirm, is that the perpetrators were wearing masks. Horrible, demonic faces. Yet another example of the explosion in mass criminals since Spider-Man came on the scene. Let's hear your thoughts. You're on with J. Jonah Jameson. Yeah, I see your point, but Spider-Man stopped those guys today. Saying he's like them because he wears a mask is fair. It's like prejudice. Wrong. Here's a little lesson in the English language, my friend. Prejudice means to prejudge someone before you know anything about them. Herman! Long time no see. Hey, I'm no lawyer, but uh, I'm pretty sure that's a parole violation. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, guess we're stuck in here for a while. Wanna play 20 questions? No? How about we thumb rest? Okay, face punch it is. Whoa, your gauntlets are all digital now, aren't they? Have it your way. You wanna fight? Let's fight! Man, can't wait to put you back behind bars so we can talk science. Remember our first fight? Me, so young and stupid. You just so stupid. You talk so much. Well, that's a matter of opinion. I mean, are there any standard metrics for how much talking one should do? And who determines the ideal ratio of talking versus not talking? Also, how would you measure it? Words per minute, syllables per second? Or is it more about how many words one uses to express a single thought? It's all so subjective. If you ask me, some people don't talk enough. Like about who their mysterious overlord is. The person they're working for, that kind of thing. Coming your way! Remember our first fight? Me, so young and stupid. You just stupid. You talk so much. Well, that's a matter of opinion. I mean, are there any standard metrics for how much talking one should do? And who determines... Okay, now I can do some real damage. Why are you doing this, Herman? Because if I do, don't kill me! Catch! <laughs> If you come clean, I can help you! You really want to help me? Don't let me have the money! Sorry, not gonna happen. Gotcha! Maybe. 
For our first fight, me so young and stupid, you just stupid. You eat so much. Well, that's a matter of opinion. I mean, is there any standard metrics for how much talking one should do? And who determines the ideal ratio of talking versus not talking? Also, how would you measure? Words per minute, syllables per second? Or is it more about how many words one uses to express a single thought? Okay, now I can do some real damage. Why are you doing this, Herman? In front of my room! Don't kill me! Okay, catch this one with your face! If you come clean, I can help you! You really want to help me? Don't let me have the money! Sorry, not gonna happen. No, people don't use banks anymore. You're lucky you found actual cash. If you really want to rob banks, try day trip. It's all the rage. No! Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no! Oh, come on, Herman! If you tell me who you're working for, I can help you cut a deal. If I talk, I'm dead! They made that very clear! yourself literally Shocker's all yours, man. Good work. We have a special cell waiting for him at the raft. We'll make sure he stays behind bars this time. Also, I'm pretty sure he was working for the Demon Gang. Demon Gang? <sighs> Sounds like a Daily Bugle headline. Hey! The Bugle is a perfectly fine news organization. Not sure I'd call it news. Well, I've heard they have some really good reporters. Anyway, have you had any more reports on Demon, uh, guys with masks? Let me get back to you. By the way, how much of a mess did you make inside that bank? You probably don't want to know. <sighs> Shouldn't have asked. Fight with Shocker took a while. Time to catch up on what I've been missing out in the city. Demons 
are getting worse than Fisk ever was. Doc left a message. Peter, I might have been a bit hasty advising you to find another job. I have a plan. Give me a bit of time. We may yet have to invent another day. The indomitable Otto Octavius. That's great news. Hope his plan works. come around. They've been pretty busy tonight, hitting a lot of Fisk properties. They're going after Fisk? Damn. You thinking what I'm thinking? Brewing gang war? Let's try to get ahead of it. Are there any Fisk properties that haven't been hit tonight? Let me see. Patrol reported a bunch of activity at one of his shipyards in Portside. Thanks, Yuri. I'll check it out. Hey, Yuri, any idea what Fisk uses that shipyard for? No idea. Let me send an officer to meet you there. His name's Jefferson Davis. That's his beat. He's a good cop. Been working the Fisk case for years. If anyone knows what's going on at that shipyard, it's him. Calling all units. Active robbery of an armored car. Officers needed in portside. Over. And if they set one toe inside the vault, I'll have your head. Got it, boss. Tripling security. Demons won't touch a thing. Listen up! Demons are making moves on all our caches. Lost two tonight already. Boss may be in lockup, but that don't mean his hardware's up for grabs. Com check, Eagle 2, you up? Eagle 2 reporting in, eyes on. What caches are the demons after? Need to take out Fisk's men and figure out what they're guarding. Whatever it is, I don't want it in Fisk's or the demon's hands. Snipers everywhere. Might need to deal with them first. A lot of junk scattered around here. A well-placed web shot could make a great distraction. Demons have been hit in other locations. The boss decided to move us left into the vault. Uh, I can't. Now let me focus. Sure. They keep talking about gear. What does Fisk store here? That sniper has a guard watching him. May need to divide and conquer. Literally didn't see that coming. All right. 
Once we're sure all the gear's here, we'll use it to wire the ball. Whole <laughs> shipyard's like a mine. We'll be traveling every decade all over the place. What's the point of that? Can't someone disarm them? Too many. Some are too old. Besides, the boss likes it that way. It gives the place character. Yeah, so much character, it'll blow your hand off if you're not careful. Yeah, it keeps the gear in the vault that much safer, I guess. Who's there? Shh! You know this old bootlegger tunnel isn't gonna seal itself. Seems like you've got it. Besides, I'm on watch. On watch? Great attitude, kid. Gonna take you real far. It's done pretty well for me. Heads up! I see him! You know we can't have vigilantes trespassing or doing illegal searches. Yeah, I know. Which is why I brought a warrant. So what do you say we do some perfectly legal searching? I like the sound of that. What's your name? Officer Davis. Call me Jeff. And you are? Uh... <laughs> Just messing with you. My son's a big fan. So, that warrant cover breaking down doors? Not without a lot of extra paperwork. Okay. We'll find another way in. Any place this rundown should have a hole in the wall or a broken window. Check around back. I'd go myself. What you know? Not Spider-Man. I feel like I'm in a horror movie. Hello? Any fishermen with a grudge and a hook for a hand? Okay, where's that locked door? Jeff, you there? I'm doing my best to refrain from knock-knock jokes. Appreciated. You see a junction box powering the door? Yeah, got it. If we can overload it, that should force the door open. Smart, but I don't have anything that packs enough current. Try this. Stun gun, genius. Capacitors in this are just what I need for an upgrade I've been thinking of.
electric web for the win. The gadget man, huh? You remind me of my son. I started taking apart the TV when he was five. <laughs> now he's unlocking his friend's phones. Sounds like he could teach me a few things. Okay. Nothing illegal in plain sight? Kind of anticlimactic, huh? At first glance. Let's look closer. Looking for something specific? This yard's been here a long time. The bootleggers used to use it back in the day. Gotcha. Those guys love their hidden rooms. Check it out. Sound hollow to you? I got a hidden panel, like the one on the door. The conduits lead out the back. Look for another junction box. Let's see if my mask lenses can pick up the conduits. Did that work? Nah. Uh, must not be the right box. Keep looking. You. Hmm. I got a big fat nothing. Well, there's one secret room that could be more. Notice anything about the floor? Uh -huh. They can hide the doors, but not the scrapes they leave. Keep an eye out for more of those. I know I'm after scrapes. I should take another look around. Pay dirt. Scrape, no door. None I can see anyway. Great. Be right there. Maybe not. Elevator's busted. Sit tight. I'll pull you up. Rusted machine parts, big honking rats. <laughs> Careful, the bridge is out. I got this one. <clears throat> nice, stuck the landing and everything. We're not all donut eaters. <laughs> Fair enough. Another secret door. I'll rig the lock. Let me know if you find the junction box. Yep, on it. my great white whale. Nailed it! Hell yeah, you did. Hey, check this out. Nothing. I'm starting to feel like this is Fisk's way of messing with me. But look at the walls. They kept guns here. They wouldn't have moved them to the front door. Gotta be a passageway we're missing. Check out the wall. This might control access to another area. Fisk's men were talking about a vault. Maybe we're close. 
Bet on it. Looks like a dual circuit. See if you can find a second junction box. If I were a jump, found it. Clear. You were right, Jeff. Trap door. Outstanding. Think you can help me out? This thing's heavy. One, two, three. Well, that isn't spooky at all. Probably an old bootlegger's tunnel. And it looks like no one's cleaned it since Al Capone. Big chunk of concrete in the way. I can't get through. Let me see how it looks from the top. Got room to maneuver here. Hang on. I'm blocked. Anything you can do? What was that? Subway, maybe. Let's hustle. The place is unstable. Okay, that definitely wasn't a subway. No. It sounded like explosives. And that sounds like demons. The vault! Hurry! Damn. Demons are already gone. How'd they beat us here? Must be a back door. See if you can find it. This place is one hell of an armory. There, they blew the locks to get in. Shh, demons. Stay here. Hell no. It'll take both of us to stop them. And some of these. They're moving. Let's go. Get them! Find cover! That's what I'm talking about! Trying to do my part. Firing! Stay! 
stay clear! Now you're just showing off! Says a guy dodging bullets. Let us stun him! I'm a little impressed! Keep watching. Thanks, I needed that. Your timing is impeccable. Trucks full of gunmen in one day. It's time to hang up the webs. Crazy. Bystanders will get shot. I gotta get in close. Hey guys, room for one more? Here's your stuff. to run on time. We've now identified the officer as Jefferson Davis. We're being told he has minor injuries and is expected to make a full recovery. 
Excuse me, miss. Are you supposed to be here? More than you. After that auction house thing, the Bugle put me on the city beat, which means I get to focus full-time on real stories like this. And the demons. You know the closer you get to them, the more you become a target, right? The closer I get, the better chance we have to stop them. We? Officer Davis, Mary Jane Watson, Daily Bugle. No comment. I don't blame you. But these guys are gonna tell their story with or without you. And they thrive on controversy. So what's your end? I don't have one. I just listen. Okay. Up in. She's good. Man, I'm beat. Time to head home and get some sleep. Come on. Empire Sanitation, this is Eddie. Yeah, hi. Uh, I'm trying to track down some items that were accidentally picked up from a dumpster outside my apartment. Dumpster number? Uh, uh, hang on. Uh, 64476. That's room 33. Truck's already left at shift. If your stuff's not there, you're out of luck. Wait, wait, please. This is important. Can you at least tell me where the truck is? <sighs> Let me check. All right. Looks like it should be at the municipal garage at Bowery and Grand. Got it. Thanks, Eddie. Municipal garage. Bowery and Grand. Not a problem.
I don't care if I lose everything else, but I have to find my Spidey drive. Can't be that hard. Finding a tiny flash drive in a 30-ton garbage truck. I have years of research on that drive. Everything I've worked on since high school. Of course it's locked. Can't have people stealing garbage. Maybe there's another way in. Hey! Turn this way! It's not really breaking and entering if I don't break anything, right? Okay, no need to panic. Maybe they haven't dumped the trash yet. Nada. Ugh. Okay, time to panic. Empire Sanitation, this is Eddie. Sorry, is there any chance the truck wasn't at the garage? Sure. I guess. Just means it'd be somewhere in West Chinatown. Great. I'm headed there now. Hey, it's a long shot, but sometimes the guys stop for pizza before they drop off. Really? I'll check out the pizza shops. Any idea which one? One of the mom and pop joints, I think. Jerry's? No, that's uptown. I mean, original Jerry's. Oh, right. No, started with an L, I think. Larry's? Wait, I think I see the trucks. Thanks, Eddie. Should be some trucks close by. Stuff's not here. There has to be another truck around here. No sign of my stuff. <coughs> what an interesting smell. Eddie, my only hope. Not there either, huh? You sure they were around here? Well, the guys might have switched routes due to the upcoming Osborne rally. If your pickup was on Route 35, they'd be dropping off at the incinerator right now. Incinerator? Over by Manhattan Bridge. Better hustle.
There's the incinerator. Hope I'm not too late. Uh-oh. Looks like trouble. You okay? Yeah, thanks. This gang's been terrorizing the whole neighborhood the last couple of days. There's probably more of them on the way. I'll keep an eye out. Hey, mind if I look around for some, uh, some personal items? Sure, have at it. I gotta go file an incident report. There's something there. Gotta move these bags out of the way. Please be here, please be here. Yes. Hope it still works. Phew, looks like everything's here. Hey, look, an old gadget prototype. Looks kind of awesome. Why didn't I ever finish it? Uh, I think I can make this work. Got it. Look, it's that guy who makes these spider man Uh-oh. Ice! No! No! Fighting all of us! Yeah. Okay, well, this night isn't quite going as planned. Where am I gonna sleep? I guess I could try MJ's. All right, how am I gonna talk my way onto MJ's couch? Uh, hi, MJ, it's Peter. 
Any chance I could stay over it? Oh, that's too far. MJ! I was just in the neighborhood and... Oh, that's lame. Hey, MJ. Now that we're talking again, I thought maybe... Oh, God, that just sounds pathetic. Why am I making this such a big deal? We're just friends, right? Friends crash on each other's couches all the time. It's not weird or anything. It's just a couch. MJ's couch. Oh, what am I thinking? Hmm, just got a web alert. Huh, looks like MJ's story just got published. I think I'll find somewhere else to stay. She's probably busy with work. I wish Harry was in town. I could crash with him. Hmm, someone left me a voicemail. Number's blocked, though. Hey there, spider. Long time no see. Miss me? Come to this address. Catch me if you can. Uh-oh. I know that voice. She's scoping out places to rob. She promised she would give up that life. What was she looking at? Anything look out of place? She wants me to find something. I need to look harder. Gotta be some kind of clue. There. One of her cats. She packs those with range extenders, then harvests nearby RFID signals. I'll let Yuri know to pick it up. Felicia's too smart to be putting herself at risk like this. She must be desperate for some reason. Better keep an eye out.
Hey, Yuri. You still have Black Cat's suit and equipment in the evidence lockup, right? I think so. Why? Is she back at it? Maybe. Just double check and let me know if her gear is still there. Will do. Hey, May. You're calling late. What's up? I thought we were gonna meet up for dinner tonight. Oh, right. I'm sorry. I forgot. It's been a hard day. We lost funding at the lab. Oh, Peter. I'm sorry. I also kind of got evicted from my apartment. What? Do you have a place to stay tonight? Actually, no. Not really. I hate to ask, but any chance you have room at the shelter? Of course. Feel free to use the couch in my office. Thanks, May. I haven't slept since the Fisk takedown. Gotta start taking better care of myself. What are you doing here, Sarah? Hope May's couch is comfortable. So I was into horses. Wasn't everybody at some point? Wish May would take some of this down. It's embarrassing. Man, was I ever a dork. Well, we all have an awkward face.
I, I can't take this. You can and you will. I'll pay you back soon. Just ask for help next time. Oh, you are so much like Ben. You have to learn to swallow that Parker pride and accept that you're human, like the rest of us. Martin. I'm sorry to interrupt. I just wanted to let you know I'm headed out of town. You're in charge while I'm gone. Well, you can count on me. How long will you be away? Uh, I really don't know. Is everything okay? It's some personal business I've been planning for a while. But please take care of this place. It represents the best part of me. Well, I guess I better get busy. <sighs> Hope Mr. Lee's okay. Hello? Hey, did you see my story? I did. Robbie must be pretty happy right now. Yeah, it kind of went viral. And get this, Mayor Osborne just announced he's going to give Officer Davis an award this afternoon. Wow. Wait, isn't Osborne's campaign rally this after- Oh, I see what he's doing. Yeah, we all do. But still, a pretty cool moment for Officer Davis and his family. I'll be there covering it. Wanna join me? Yeah, of course. See you then. Peter? I don't think May's here. I never used to feel safe at the other shelter. But this one, I have never had. There's always someone looking up. So humiliating taking money from May. I should head out into the city and try to pay it forward. Come on, Pidgey, just a little. Howard, long time no see. How's Pidgey doing? He's a little down today. Misses his cousins. Been a bit of a whirlwind for both of us. Owners of my building, rezoned for commercial. We had to move into Feast to get our bearings. I'm so sorry. New York landlords can really be heartless. When they kicked me out of my place, they set all my birds loose. Pidgey's the only one who found me. I've been looking everywhere for the rest of them, but with my bad leg and all... You know what? I get around. How about I keep an eye out for him? You do that? Oh, thank you. If you have any luck, please give me a call.
Jeff. Congrats on the ceremony today. I'll be glad when it's over. A truck full of armed demons scares me less than public speaking. But I'm calling about something else. What's up? I just got a tip that the demons are moving on the fist construction site in Midtown. My wife would kill me if I ditched the ceremony prep to play cops and robbers, but I thought maybe my friendly neighborhood partner would want to know. Understood. I'll do a swing by let you know what I find. And hey, here's a tip on public speaking. Just picture everyone in their underwear. Wait, not Osborne. You know what? Just never mind. <laughs> Another message from Doc. Peter, I don't want to jinx us, but the lead I'm following might not only get the project back on its feet, but also expand it in ways we never could have imagined. Everything happens for a reason, even Norman pulling our plug. Really hope this works out. Doc's work is too important to go unfinished. Consolidated shipping. <sighs> Jeff, I'm here. What do you see? Find the rest. The boss wants them dead. Looks like the demons are moving in on Fisk's territory. You got this? I got this. You don't need to kill us, too. <clears throat> this territory is ours now. Not today. Jumpsuit. Slimming. Stay out of my business. Wait, the demons. Who's their leader? Keep my men alive and maybe I'll tell you. Save 
saving bad guys from other bad guys. Not how I thought today would go. Sleep it off. Got their attention. On the outside to look for fist men. Stay here. Wait for the police. Gotta find the survivors fast. Big guy. Better swing around the outside to look for fist men.
That gun. Hey, big guy. Fisk, your men are safe. Your turn. Who runs the demons? Maybe he's there. Maybe he isn't. Check the roof. I've missed these cryptic Fisk talks. just happen yeah I'm getting reports of a helicopter with a wrecking ball yeah things with the demons got complicated sit tight Yuri I got this I know. You need to bring it down. 
I know. Maybe you could superhero a little faster? Working on it, Yuri. Call you when it's done. to Newark? Masks are so awesome. Where do you get them? Oh, we stole this. Yeah. Cool, thanks. Do they have a website? Uh, yes. Whoops. Hey, Yuri. I caught the bad guys, but... But what? You might want to bring a ladder. Yo, Miles. Hey, fanboy. I'm late. You coming? Uh, nah, I gotta get to City Hall for my dad's ceremony. All right. Tell your pops I said congrats. MJ, did they start the ceremony yet? They're still setting up. Where are you? Got hung up at work. Be there soon. Once again, defend myself against the spurious claims from McDonald Mac Gargan, a.k.a. The Scorpion. Yes, as I fully disclosed, I bankrolled the experiment that gave him superior strength, 
speed, and that unsightly cyborg tail. The idea was to create an anti-Spider-Man who is not a threat and stops menaces. I had no idea he was crazy. Do you think his resume said psycho with a poisoning fetish? His lawsuit is a transparent attempt to reduce his sentence at the raft by placing the blame for his deeds on me. And that is one package J. Jonah Jameson refuses. All units, 1010 narcotic sale reported in progress. Report came in from Little Italy. There's a pigeon. It's getting away. Nothing like putting my skills to good use. I'll get him next time. There's the stage entrance. And we'll be right out front. Sounds like a lot of people out there. You'll be fine, honey. The last time I gave a speech, I was in high school. Miss Steinberg gave me a C minus. Well, if only Miss Steinberg could see you now. Hey, you got this, Dad. I mean, come on, you saved Spider Man. I'm pretty sure that makes you an official superhero. <laughs> a superhero? <laughs> or maybe I'm just a guy who doesn't give up. <laughs> Come on, honey. Welcome, everyone. And before I hand it off to Mayor Osborne, I'd just like to say a few words. Our city is so, so? Such exemplary citizens I think this gang war may finally be over. That, like, I would like, to hand like it over, to over? over? I'm, I mean, there's some loose ends still to be tied up, but... Loose ends. Well... A truck pulled away from the scene from a company called Consolidated Shipping. Something's not right about it. I just don't know what. Hmm. Well, maybe after this we can grab some coffee. Figure it out together. Yeah. Um... Well, thanks, Jim. Couldn't have said it better myself, but I'll try. We all know that Officer Davis is a hero. But, uh... Instead of coffee, maybe we could have dinner instead. I, I could come over, uh, I'll cook. Or we could, you know, meet at a totally neutral location for a completely normal meal cooked by professionals. For acts of extraordinary bravery, above and beyond the call of duty, it is my privilege to present Officer Jefferson Davis with a department Medal of Honor. Phone call, sir. Kind of in the middle of something here, Jim. Sounds urgent, sir. Fine. Congratulations, sir. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I share this honor with my family. My wife, Rio, and my son, Miles. Without their support, I... I couldn't do what I do. Yes? I've worked many years for this moment. Who is this? Over the coming days, your company, your city, and everything you care about will be destroyed. People will beg you for help, but you won't be able to save them. <laughs> Listen, jackass. I get threats like this twice a week. Why don't you grow a pair and tell me what you want? To watch you suffer.
Get around somehow. Right there. What the hell? Where do you think you're going? Thank God. You can pull it off. I was right there. Gotta help him. Now. I 
got you, Dad. Shooting you, Tom. Don't we end gentle? We have to leave. Now. Dad. 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 No! Wake up, Dad. Wake up. Wake up. I'm sorry for your loss. Do I know you? I'm Peter Parker. I was at City Hall when... Look, I know you don't know me, but I just wanted to say... I know what you're going through. Uh, that's what you were going to say, right? Or it all gets easier with time. Don't worry. It's, it's part of God's plan. I'm sorry. I was just try trying to help. I know. I'm sorry about that. I don't know what I'm going to do with him. Sorry, Jeff. I'm busy. What's up? Have you started looking for Martin Lee yet? No. I told you, I can't start a manhunt based on a hunch from Spider-Man. But I'm telling you, he's the guy! Get me some solid evidence and we'll talk. Solid evidence. Right. Hey, it's me. Hey, so what are you thinking? I'm thinking I screwed up. And that kid lost his father. I know you too well to say you should give yourself a break. What about the police? Do they have any leads on Lee? They're not even looking for him. Even Yuri doesn't believe me. Then it's up to us to find him. I've been doing some research. Go to this address. Martin Lee bought a controlling interest in this recycling center last year. You think he's hiding out there? Maybe. We know he's not at Feast. If he's not at the recycling center, maybe you'll find some evidence as to where he might be. Yeah. Good work, MJ. I'll let you know what I find. Oh, one more thing. I talked with a detective about questioning the arrested demons. They're all claiming Martin Lee has the power to, quote, corrupt people. Corrupt? What does that mean? They say it's sort of like mind... MJ.
MJ's hunch was right. The place is crawling with demons. Gotta take these guys out, then have a look around. That's all of them. Oh, high security lock. They use these on banks, not recycling centers. Maybe if I can find where it gets its power from. Looks like I could override the circuit. Need my electric webs. Well, that did something. It looks like the circuits need a little more juice. Gotta find a junction box. There. Looks like the circuit's still stable. Maybe there's another junction box close by. Gotcha. Almost there. One more box to do it. That's it!
These must be where they're planning to attack. Wait, these are Osborne campaign offices. All the paths originate from the same address. Lots of high-tech equipment. Maybe later I can recycle this stuff into some weapons of my own. Explosives from Fisk's construction site. Truck bombs? This is crazy! Guns from Fisk's armory. This wasn't a gang war. The demons were stealing from Fisk to go after Mayor Osborne. Hey, did you find Lee? No, but you were right. Lee's using this place as a front for the demons. Bomb making, gun running. Oh my god. And it looks like they're planning another attack. This time on Norman Osborne's campaign offices. We must have some kind of beef with Norman Osborne. I found an address here. I think it's their staging area. If I hurry, I might be able to stop them. <sighs> be careful. Yuri, it's me. Make it quick. I'm busy getting yelled at by my boss. Martin Lee and the demons are planning another attack, this time on Norman Osborne's campaign offices. Are you sure? We've had a lot of false leads in the past week. Trust me on this one. I'm sending you the address of a recycling center. You'll find all the evidence there. Got it. I'll get those campaign offices evacuated. But if you're wrong about this, you're gonna help me find a new job. Consolidated shipping. A lot of guys. I should try to do this quietly, but also with style. I can use that stuff I found at the recycling center. Nice. Love using bad guys' own weapons against them. And that, my friends, is what karmic justice looks like.
He's not out here. Better check inside. Yeah. Huh. Invoice from an auto shop. Pale horse rides. That's one expensive tune-up. What else can I find around here? They have bases all around the city. This is bigger than I thought. Looks like the demons have an army. As if one deadly glowing whip wasn't enough. I was expecting, but it was definitely not this. Hey, MJ, I think I stopped the demon's attack on Osborne's campaign office. Nice. Did you find it? No, but I found something we should look into. It's a place called Pale Horse Rides. Sounds familiar. I'll check it out and get back to you.
stop the demon's attack on Osborne's campaign offices. Finally. No, but I've found something we should look into. A place called Pale Horse Ride. Sounds familiar. I'll check it out and get back to you. I think I stopped the demon's attack on Osborne's campaign offices. Did you find me? No, but I found something we should look into. A place called Pale Horse Ride. Uh, sounds familiar. I'll check it out and get back to you. I think I stopped the demon's attack on Osborne's campaign office. Nice. Did you find Lee? No, but I found something we should look into. A place called Pale Horse Rides. Sounds familiar. I'll check it out and get back to you. <laughs> Off. Well, this is new. No, no, no. This one's mine. All right. I'm executing this son of a... Hey! That's not how we do things. Down! Down!
Code SM1. Whoa, whoa! Before we do this, who the hell are you guys? Code SM1. Code SM1. Holding for orders. Copy Code SM1. I have a visual. Hold for Silverburn. Nice entrance. Solid 8 out of 10. Yuri, explanation, please. This is Silver Sablanova, head of Sable International, a private security force, paid for by Mayor Osborne. Oh, the mayor has a pet army now? Next time you get in my way, I will not be so gentle. Go. We'll talk later. Sorry about that Sable thing. I should have told you earlier, but it all happened so fast. It's okay. We're still best buds. We're not best buds. Well, that took a dark turn. Anyway, Sable has the mayor's ear and unchecked authority. We've searched that address you gave me, found plenty of evidence of a bomb plot, but nothing that leads back to Martin Lee. I'm working on that. Hey, MJ. Hey, so I dredged up some records on Martin Lee's other business holdings. He's got places all over the city. Huh. The locations line up with a map I found at that shipping business. I'll check them out. Let me know what you find in each one, and I'll work on building a case. You got it. I'm headed to Lee's office at Feast to see if I can learn more about why he's doing this. And what he's got planned next. Okay, say hi to May for me. Wait, you don't think she's in danger, do you? No. Lee's only got one target on his mind. Norman Osborn. Peter. So if you're running this place while Mr. Lee's out of town, who's doing your old job? <laughs> Me. But I could always use more help. You know anyone? Actually, I do. His name is Miles Morales. Why does that sound familiar? His father was being honored at City Hall. Oh. I talked to him at the funeral. He's a smart kid. He's just having a tough time. I knew a boy like that once. I remember it helped to uh, stay busy. It might help him too. Here's his mom's number. Thanks. I'll give her a call. Hey, you haven't heard from Mr. Lee, have you? No. Why? I'm just curious. I've got a few minutes before work. I'm gonna look around, see if there's anything else I can do to help you out. Oh, you, you don't have to. I know. I want to. I should check out Lee's office. Glad to see you're okay. Hanging in there. This office is locked. How do I get in there? Quietly. I don't feel safe in here. Maybe there's a vent somewhere. Whoa, what the... High 
voltage lines. What needs this much power? I understand, but the account number is in Mr. Lee's office, which is inexpensive. That room I saw from the crawl space. It should be right on the other side of the shrine. Lee's parents. Looks like there's a keyhole in the frame. I thought Lee's parents abandoned him. Why build a shrine to the people who threw you away? Huh. The shrine in the photo is missing the picture. Looks like this note is for May. Lee's journal. Bet this fits the lock in the portrait. Lee did so much for New York. Lee sounds conflicted. Almost like he didn't want to head down this path. Hmm. Some kind of puzzle lock. That seems right. I see.
What are you hiding, Lee? Lee sure is obsessed with masks. Is it a Jungian thing? Like, he needed to pretend to be someone else to let his darkest feelings out? Pretended to be a demon, until he became one. He's giving his powers to the others. How does Lee imbue these with his power? Bioelectric induction? Compressed phase shift? This is all about Norman Osborne. His whole career. Lee must have been obsessed with him. Creepy. Can feel my power growing. Feeding off my anger. Father would say I've lost the path of balance that he could never understand. The only way to fight a monster is to become one. Oh, this is the folder MJ found at the auction house. This might help us figure out what Lee's planning next. It's a burn room, wired to destroy evidence. had found this. Or May. Don't want to think of what could have happened. Okay, through the floor grate. Now, how do I get out of here? Hello, Peter. Mr. Lee. I thought you were out of town. Did you find what you were looking for? Martin, you're back. I get that. Thank you. And heading off again shortly, I'm afraid. Just needed a few things from my office. You must have heard about City Hall. Yes. Tragic. Peter was there. He was very lucky. And an Osborne rally. I didn't know you were a fan. Well, what matters is, you are both safe. Amen. But the bombers are still out there. Who knows what they've planned next? Oh, I don't think you or May have anything to worry about. As long as you stay away from places you're not supposed to be. Well, I should go. When will you be back? When my work is done.
Wait, wait! I finally got your evidence. Head to the Feast Center in Chinatown. What am I going to find? A nice lady named May Parker. And some really weird stuff hidden in Lee's office. But listen, he's got another attack planned. Where? When? Still working on that, but I think he's going to use something called Devil's Breath. Sounds destructive. What is it? A substance created by Oscorp. Probably a bioweapon of some kind. I have a folder full of info on it. I'm holding on to it for now. I'll send copies as soon as I can. Okay, we'll check his office. If the evidence stands up, I'll put out an APB. MJ, hey. Just checking in. Peter, hey. Can I call you back? I think you'll want to hear this. Wait, why are you whispering? Just in the middle of something. How about we catch up over dinner? My place? Oh, sure. I'll even cook. Cool. See ya. Wait! Remember how you told me about Lee's corrupting touch? I think I just saw it in action. How? Some perfectly nice homeless people just jumped me. Thing is, they had glowing eyes. And I remembered Yuri telling me something similar about the guard who released Shocker. So Shocker was working for me? Uh, it's all connected. There's more. But I guess we'll talk about it at dinner. Yeah, see ya. Dinner? Huh. What should I cook? Getting away. Nothing like putting my skills to good use. Oh, hi, Doctor. How are you? Parker! Exciting news. Come by the lab. Uh, like, now? This is my defining moment. Can't wait to show you. Cool. Um, I've got dinner plans. Can I come by later? Dinner can wait. You need to see this, Peter. Um, okay. Be right there. Wonder if this means I have a job again. Guess I can stop by just for a minute. Another call from Doc. Peter, I wanted to make sure you're still available. I can't pay you yet, but I've pulled enough strings to keep the wolves from the door a bit longer. If we can get up and running, I know this new version of the project will attract investment. Massive investment. Stay ready. Fingers triple cross, Doc. like putting my skills to good use. Ah, you haven't seen the last of me, you... you... dirty bird! This is Stable Control. The boss wants a sit rep on the garrison in Chelsea. Control, APC Bravo engaging demon. There's a pigeon, and the chase is on.
Hey, Doctor. Hello, Peter. I'll be just a minute. Wow. Look at all this new stuff. Where did you get all this equipment? Called in every last favor. Took out a few loans. It's like we're starting over once again. But this time's going to be different. Our first volunteer subject, Lance Corporal Texador. Lost his arm overseas and now just wants to hug his daughter again. You've been busy. Just getting started. You know, until now, we've been looking at prosthetics from the wrong perspective. Why restore people to what they were when we can make them better? Okay. I think that should do it. You ready? Everything okay? Damn it! This is all your fault, Norman, you son of a... Well, I know who you're not voting for in the next election. Sorry. I uh, have a habit of making bad jokes in tense situations. <laughs> uh, it was a good joke, Parker. Just a bit of an overreaction on my part. No, don't worry. Uh, why don't you take a break? I'll, uh, I'll clean this up and uh, get us ready for another test. So, uh, hope you don't mind me asking, but it seems you and Norman have a bit of a history. We were lab partners in college. Became friends. Decided to start a business. We both had visions of changing the world just in different ways. Wait, you were at Oscorp when it started? I'm half the reason it's called Oscorp. In grad school, everyone called us the O's. <sighs> Add Corp to that and, well, it is a catchy name. Well, why'd you leave? Norman became more and more obsessed with genetics. He started a project I considered unethical. And there was this... Anyway, lawyers got involved. I chose to leave in exchange for a settlement. But that money didn't last very long. I've relied on grants ever since. If this project doesn't work... Don't worry. It'll work. Uh, let, me, let me just fix this up. I'll brew some fresh coffee. Be sure to run a diagnostic on the control unit. Could be a short. Huh. No good. Gotta reroute this circuit.
Oh, why don't you do the honors this time? I think we did it. Next step, neural interface. That's a lot of work for you to do by yourself. You sure you can handle it? Apparently not, judging by today's debacle. Because I still haven't found another job. My funds are still... I know. It's okay. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. What's a few bucks when you're trying to change the world, right? To changing the world. Missed call from MJ. Doctor, I need to go, but I'll be back later. Don't worry, the work will still be here when you get back. What's that? Sorry I missed your call. We still on for dinner? Dinner? Oh, yeah. I was calling you about something else, but yeah, we should talk over dinner. Offer still stands for me to come over and cook. Oh, really? Well, I like to take risks. I'm still out, but I'll grab some stuff at the store and let you know when I'm home. Okay, talk soon. All right, dinner at MJ's. Low expectations. It'll be hard to screw this one up. Guess I'll just freelance for a while until she calls. Ten eighty, vehicle pursuit is currently in progress. Please proceed to Chelsea ASAP. <laughs> Don't run! I won't hurt you! I've just received an update on Adrian Toomes, a.k.a. The Vulture. Apparently, this winged criminal has fallen ill with cancer, and he's been moved to the RAF's infirmary for treatment, which will undoubtedly cost a fortune in public funds. Now, let me ask you, why do we even have an infirmary at the RAF? It's a supermax prison full of maniacs. If they get sick, let nature take its course. Now, I realize that's harsh, but so is my tax bill. Calling agent stationed in the Tenderloin. What's your status? Outpost is under siege by demons. We got this, Spider-Man. Thanks to the...
all units. There is an active pursuit of a box truck believed to have a bomb. Officers needed in Tenderloin. Please copy. Demons in the front two cars. Plus a bomb rig to explode. We need to stop them. I'm losing him, hey, Jay. All right, I picked up a bunch of stuff at the store. Can't wait to see what you come up with. Swinging over now. Prepare to be amazed. Truck. Gotta get it away from civilians. Phew. Just like that movie with the bomb on the bus. What was it called? Fastness, super quick. No, nah, that wasn't it. What happened? So you know that address you gave me? I went there. MJ. I know, I know, but wait. What is this? Just listen. This is the address Pete found. Men are all carrying firearms. What is this place? That office. Might be something inside that connects this to Lee. Need to get back there. Huh? What was that? What dumbass can't put their shit away? Bet it was happy. Its tires this big. Where is it? I swear I left it over here. Yo, has anyone seen the 316 socket driver? get a new recip saw. Hey. hey, anyone pick up more beer after our last run? Rave dust must have me on edge.
awesome. I'm gonna check it out. Wait! Where is it? I swear I left it over here. Yo, has anyone seen the 316 socket driver? Hey, when do we get a new recip saw? Anyone pick up more beer after our last run? Anyone seen the 316 socket driver? Hey, when do we get a new recip saw? Hey, who is that? Hey, it's wait. Where I left it over here. Yo, has anyone seen the 316 socket driver? Hey, when do we get a new recip saw? Nothing here. Hey, anyone pick up more beer after our last run? Hey, I heard something. Wait! Where is it? I swear I left it over here. Yo. Has anyone seen the 316 socket driver? Hey, when do we get a new recip saw? <sighs> that guy's not going anywhere. Maybe I can distract him. Gotta check it out. Hey, anyone pick up more beer after our last run? Hearing things. I saw something. Wait. Where is it? I swear I left it over here. Yo. Has anyone seen the 316 socket driver? Hey, when do we get a new recip saw? Hey, anyone pick up more beer after our last run?
something. Is it? I swear I left it over here. Yo, has anyone seen the 316 socket driver? That guy's not going anywhere. Maybe I can distract him. Hey, when do we get a new re- Wait! Is it? I swear I left it over here. Yo, has anyone seen the 316 socket driver? Hey, when do we get a new recip saw? Beer after our last run. That guy's not going anywhere. Is it? I swear I left it over here. Yo, has anyone seen the 316 socket driver? Hey, when do we get a new recip saw? After our last run, yo, who's there? Damn. I swear I saw something. anywhere. Maybe I can distract him. Where I saw 
What is this? Some kind of military hardware? Office must be to my right. Need to move careful through here. Yo, man. Why's the boss being so intense about putting GPS trackers on everything? Protecting trade secrets. Doesn't want any word on grain dust leaking out. Still, I was paranoid. Who asked you? Get back to work. Supplies. Not till we toss the empties. Boss wants them lost in a Jersey swamp by next week. Hey, dust is pretty under the table, I guess. Yeah, under the table, the floor, and the first few layers of the Earth's crust, yeah. Those barrels seem important. Alchemax. What's in these? Won't be there. God damn it! I said I'll fix it! You got some stones, Rick. <laughs> Let's see if they break. a disappointment. And now I need a new welder. This is what they're building for Lee. But why does he need an armored vehicle? There must be something else in this. Here, GPS trackers. What is Tombstone using these for? All right, boys. Time to move. Get the gear for my office. Time to go. Okay, I want to say don't ever do that again, but since I know you're going to anyway, here. Take a few of those next time. Nice. Thanks. You know Tombstone is crazy and pretty much invincible, right? Everybody has their weakness. Mine is... whatever you're cooking right now. <laughs> it smells amazing. The chicken curry. Uh, just needs some time to simmer. No dumplings, I hope. You're never gonna let me live that one down, are you? Nope. <laughs> the great dumpling catastrophe. I still can't believe they evacuated the entire building. I know, and in January, too. <laughs> Your neighbors hated me. Yeah, they were pretty happy when we broke up. <laughs> yeah. So, let's talk about what you found in Lee's office. Well, Lee clearly has issues with Norman Osborne. Yeah, but, but why? I don't know yet. But his next move looks like it involves Devil's Breath, whatever that is. Yeah, I'll dig into it. So I was thinking, what if we teamed up? What, what, you want to be my sidekick? 
Or like a spider girl? Spider woman. No. Woman. No, not a sidekick. A partner. Oh. Not again. Hey, it's your crime system thingy. Looks like a residential break-in. Charles Standish. Hmm. That sounds familiar. Oh, Oscorp CFO. Wait. You don't think this has anything to do with Lee, do you? Sorry to cook and run. Did... Did you just leave your clothes on the kitchen floor? Uh... Where do you want me to, uh... Just the couch is fine. <laughs> See you later? Yeah. Hey, it's me. This curry is legit. So what do we know about Charles Standish? Let's see. Chief Financial Officer at Oscorp. Single. Known for his art collection. If Lee's after it, it's gotta be related to Devil's Breath. I'll run a search on everything in that file. Let me know the second you find something. 
I think Lee might be planning something even worse than City Hall. So, are we partners now? Because it sure feels like we are. Partners? Uh, sounds good. Okay. See ya, partner. Police look like they could use some help. Police look like they could use some help. 